I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a multiple choice test question on combinations where identical elements are involved. The question here is how many of the divisors of 1800 are odd? Five choices are 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Well, let me give you a hint here. To solve this question, you need to find prime factors. That should help you to solve the question. Again, whenever you feel like, you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So all the factors are divisors of 1800. So let's find out the factors of 1800. 1800. Uh, we could say it is 18 times 100, 18 is uh, 9 times 2, 9 is 3 times 3, 2 is a prime factor, here we could write 4 times 25 is 100, 4 is 2 times 2 and 25 is 5 times 5. So we can write that 1800 is equal to uh, how many 2's? 3 2's. Three I mean, okay, let me write 3 first now. 3 times 3, and then 3 twos, 2 times 2 times 2, and 2 fives, and 2 fives. Correct? So these are all the factors. If you multiply these numbers, let's do it. It's a good check. 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, uh, and then we do times 5 times 5 equals to 1800. Correct? So we have correctly done prime factorization. Now, how many of the divisors of 1800 are odd? So if we are looking for odd divisors, we are looking for numbers which are not two, right? So these are our factors which can help us find the divisors. Okay, so now we'll apply the identical items rule. So if there are P, Q, R, so on, identical elements, then the combinations are p plus 1 times q plus 1 times r plus 1 minus 1. That formula is being used now. The idea of this formula is if I have two threes, I could select one three, two three, or no three. So I have three choices, one more than number of threes. So here the number of choices I have are three. Then with fives also, I have three choices. I may not select any five, or I may select one five or two fives. So three choices. Now, we cannot have, we have to have a selection, so minus one. We cannot do that, that we select no three and no five. So minus one for that. Also, one is a factor, right? One is not a prime number, therefore, you will never see it in prime factorization. One has only one factor. Prime factors have two, and therefore one is not treated as a prime factor. So we'll add one because one is a factor. Okay, so so these are all the combination. Now, so we'll multiply these two threes, take away one, add one. That will give us the answer. Three times three is nine, and therefore the right choice is nine. So I hope uh, you understand how to solve such questions, right? Now, let me give you a choice for even. So, if you have to solve for even, then what should be your answer? So, for even, uh, let me give you choices also. So, that is the part for you to do. Uh, even numbers are much more since we have so many twos. So, I know the answer. Therefore, I can write uh, some numbers here, which could be uh, valid. So let's write 29, right? And then 26, 25, 24, and 20. So these are the choices for even, okay? So these are the choices for even. Let me give a different color to it and a question for you. That is a new question created just now for you. Write down your answer in the comments, and if there is a problem, write that in your comments. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope this helps to understand the concept. Feel free 
to post suggestions share my videos and if you like that'd be great thank you and all the best